from uh, Bryce. How do I convince my friends to become militant vegans with men help free the cows? I think uh, if people have got the passion, if people are passionate enough, um, all you need is a car or a van to get them out there. And if people want to fucking, yeah, if people want to do it, they'll do it. So uh, as far as convincing them, you just have to provide a means, a means for them to do it and make it safe, safer for them so they don't have to go to jail. Well, lessen the chance of them going to jail. Vincenzo. He's uh, in Chiang Mai by himself for a year at 19. Um, how does one fight for the industry? I don't know. You're always talking about the industry, Vincenzo. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Ties in with the other question. If, uh, if you've got the desire to fight for the industry, for whichever industry it may be, then, then uh, you can find a way. You'll find a way. Easy enough. Let's get some more. Bit more light. Uh, what were you least looking forward to when coming back to Australia from your travels? Work doesn't count. I was actually looking forward to uh, getting back to work. Uh, probably the least least favorite thing of coming back was probably just the tra- just the travelling. Just um, uh, getting back on planes and shit and going through security. That stuff's just annoying. It's just a sweat. Uh, everyone's so scared. Which could be justified, but it's just, it's just annoying. And um, apart from that, um, coming back to a house filled with drugs, I thought it might, I might kind of slip back into it. But just got to keep switched on up here. You can kind of segregate yourself, and you don't have to be a part of that scene. What was first, the chicken or the egg? Please enlighten me with your never-ending wisdom. Ah, uh, chicken or the egg? I think it's a bit more complicated than that. I think that's... Personally, I think life on Earth has come from... Oh, fuck, I don't know. I'm not much of a... Fucking, I don't even... Biologist, feel it. Physicist. Evolutionary biologist. Um, I think maybe it could have just been like the perfect atmospheric conditions on Earth, but then it's like, how does how does the first the first spark happen? Like, could have came on the back of a rock from somewhere else, but then where did that have to come from? I don't. Know. Would you rather eat a chicken burger or sacrifice your firstborn child? I uh, probably don't intend on having children, uh, and I'm not sure what you mean by sacrifice, um, but if that child's going to grow up and kill, on average, 300, 400 animals a year, and I'd sacrifice one animal, do I save thousands of animals, or do I save one that might be a bit more dearer to me? Eat. A chicken burger. I'd eat one chicken burger and then make fuck sure that child's vegan. Have an emotional relationship with a cow in brackets. Sexual relationship optional. Close bracket. I'd have an emotional relationship with cows. Cows are, emo- they can feel emotion. They're emotional creatures. Um, see in one of the Simpsons episodes, Bart, Bart raises a cow. He has an emotional long term relationship with a baby cow. Um, so yeah, I would. Sexual relationship? No, I probably wouldn't. Fuck cow. Yeah. Be uh, some technicality issues. Technicality issues. Future: The world is in crisis. The population is lacking because they turned vegan and died. Would you help repopulate the world and birth a child? Uh, Twenty years in the future, the world is in a crisis. All right, I'm getting that. The population is lacking because they turned vegan and died. <laughs> uh, I don't see that happening, but if it did, if it did, would I repopulate the world and birth a child? So we're thinking there's... Bottle, the, the world's bottlenecked to less than... less than a million people. 
Alright, would I have a child? Yeah, I would. So, think of, think like the ant. The ant works for no other reason than prolonging its species. So yeah, I would. But I don't believe that the world would be lacking because they turn vegan and die. What inspired you to become vegan? What are your reasons, main reasons for finally taking the plunge? Uh, it took me a couple of years of fucking watching Durin Rider and uh, getting, I wouldn't call it informed, but just knowing what's going on. Um, what finally ticked, I just call it maturity, having Kate, my girlfriend, around me to to bounce off. She was vegan, so I take it she was a, she was a main reason, but I think also the main reason was just maturity and having the balls to actually do it and not worry about what every cunt's going to say, because they don't really matter. Since going vegan, have you noticed any difference in yourself? If so, what? I think it's more motivating um, than any get out there and do it. Why vegan? Uh, health. It's cheap. Uh, it's environmentally friendly. Even though Alan Savory um, thinks that you can do a lot of recovery work with cows. Yes, you can. But uh, in a lot of places that isn't applicable and um, then we'd have to eat the cows and I don't agree with that. So do you think you ever convert back to eating animals? No, I do not. Not in this lifetime. Uh, it's working wonderfully for me. It helps with everything that I want to do and uh, benefits that positively. So no, I'm not.